How are you? Happy Sunday evening. Let's do part two of this makeover that I've nicknamed Cotton Candy. Um, the reason we're doing Cotton Candy is because, well, I don't know, it just sounds kind of fun. Um, who doesn't love Cotton Candy? Let me back up a little bit. So you, uh, excuse me, Facebook can get the full view of the top. Hi guys, hello, happy Sunday. All right, so I wanted to tell you guys on Facebook that um, we were going to do an interview with Susan Mary. We end up rescheduling it for the following Thursday. So we will do that, I promise you. You guys, this is part two. You may have caught part one yesterday where I started with the yellow on this wardrobe. The goal is to make this top section look like the bottom section. Now, why did I do that? Because they're actually in two pieces and on top of them being on two pieces, um, the, uh, the bottom I actually did in a class for a group, a paid class. So um, we're gonna work, start on this section here. So we'll start with Old 57, which is a color that I use all the time from DIY. Um, it's like that true, most beautiful shade um, of turquoise. So let's get started on that. Whoops. Goodness, how's everybody? How is everybody? I asked you yesterday, and guys, you've been so good to give me names. Um, I have my next wardrobe is going to be black. Black, black, black. And so um, I need a name. And you guys were throwing me names all day long in the comments. So thank you for that. I still haven't come up with one. I still don't know, but it's going to be black. And so all of these have been really light and in pastels. So this next one, it has a beveled mirror in the middle. It's so pretty. Um, but I want to do darker colors, but on, I, I, it has to go, I'm stumbling over my words. It has to go with the summer wardrobe series or the summer furniture makeover series. So I'm trying, no, 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 not all black. No, it's going to have the pastel flowers hand painted on it. So I need it to go with carnival. Um, I need it to go with carousel, cotton candy. Uh, summer Festival, those are the four pieces that I've done so far. So our fifth piece, what's it gonna be? I don't know, so you, anyway, you guys, lots of midnight, twinkle, twinkle lights, stars, um, the fun house, lots of those suggestions, which were all super great, but none of them really just resonated with me as saying, bing, that's the one. So I'm still looking, I'm still looking. But no, I want to do a hand-painted piece, but where it's dark and um, midnight blooms, summer nights. There's a lot of summer night suggestions, um, which of course is a great one. That's a, that's a great way to go. And um, don't worry, guys. I'm not worried about whether I overlap my, my old 57 on my yellow or not. Again, the goal is here. Um, I know Facebook, you can just barely see, um, and I will, I'll lower the camera before we get off of here. But this is just the top coat. So if you're new here and you don't know what I'm doing, I, this is uh, where I do a lot of furniture makeovers. And I try to get on here and just show you little bits and pieces of things that I'm working on. Carnival Lights, I like that a lot. Um, my, my name is Dion Woods and I'm the owner and artist at the Turquoise Iris. I should have started with that. This is Old 57 and then yesterday we applied the Queen Bee and then I actually put a clear wax over it today. DIY covers really, really well, but I'll probably do um, three or four layers of color because I'm actually going to use mermaid tail. I'm going to use cowgirl coral. I'm going to use summer crush, uh, carnival red, and a little tiny bit of bohemian blue. So you just know I'm going to have 
a ton of different colors on here. So I'm not worried about the coverage being perfect on this first coat. Actually, I prefer it not be perfect. Like I might leave a little bit of wood showing through. And I'm also, for those of you that watch all the time, I'm not using any water right now. Tell you what let's go ahead before we moved on to this door let's go ahead and okay what do you do when your husband stands at the window and starts dancing you just smile and wave smile and wave yeah still dancing in front of the house there it is right there <laughs> trying to get me off my game but I cannot be um, what's the word it can't be interrupted you can't mess with me boy Trying to mess me up out there. Comes up to the window going, go away, go away, goofy. So this is mermaid tail. And instead of moving right on, while the old 57 is still wet, I'm just gonna start in with the mermaid tail and just, just add a little bit more color here. And it's the base coat, so it's not really gonna matter. I'm gonna end up applying more of both colors. Okay. So, I sent my oldest off to church camp today. And I've never went to camp. Not once, ever. I went to grandma's for a week at a time. Um, I love your your um, suggestions, you guys. Thank you so much for your suggestions for the name of this piece or the name of the next piece. This is cotton candy. I was telling you yesterday I ordered some cotton candy because I couldn't wait for it to come in and get this finished so I could just stage this with cotton candy. Like, like they come in little six inch balls on sticks. Like, you know how you have cake pops? You can actually order cotton candy pops. Who knew? Well, I found that out yesterday, so I ordered 12. I'm certain that the kids are going to love it. But anyway, I never went to camp. And I'm thinking, where did, who went to camp? And what was your favorite thing to do at camp? I went to Grandma's house in the summer. I went with one, my brother and I went to one, my mom's mom. And then we would go, which was Iris. And then we went to my other grandma, which is Grandma Janita. And we didn't have a whole lot to do, but there were of course things that were our favorite things to do. Okay, you went horseback riding, mermaid tail over old 57. Yes, that's exactly right, Heather. I um, I would imagine if I were at camp, even though I've never went, that I would like playing the games the most. Just because I would want to play with a, like either softball or basketball or something like that. I would imagine that's what I would have loved to do more than anything else. Now at Grandma Iris's, we did we snapped peas in the evening when it got cool enough, and we sat on the front porch. And when we were really little, we were able to ride Patty, which was the horse. Um, but my favorite thing to do was to hang out with my cousins who lived not too far away, and hang out with them. And every summer my aunt actually sings country music and she sang at the rodeos. So when we got a little bit older, we were able to go to the rodeo and um, watch my aunt and my cousin sing up on stage at the rodeos. So that was one of our favorite summertime activities. Who 
went to camp, what y'all do at camp? 4-H camp, there you go. And my other grandmother, when we would go to Janita's, she had a boathouse that we would go to and she would take us and let us stay one night in the boathouse and we would go fishing and do some of those kind of things. But those are my, a lot of my summertime memories. How about you guys? Girl Scout camp. Heather, you went to Girl Scout camp? But that would be a lot of fun. I feel like as a boy mom, I'm so out of touch with what girls, I mean, like I said, I didn't go to camp, so I just sometimes feel out of touch <laughs> with being such a boy mom. Hello from Edmond. Hello from Oklahoma City. You're not very far from me, are you? Thanks for joining me tonight, you guys. I worked on a few paintings drove around and looked at some open houses. Wrote an email. <laughs> my, oh, my youngest came home from the lake and then the other one went off to the to camp. So I had to catch up with my youngest and hear all his stories. Okay. So I'm gonna tilt the camera down because I want to make sure Facebook gets an idea. Cleveland, home of the All-Star Game. Look at that. I want to make sure you can see the bottom. So there's other colors in here. And we actually highlighted all this gorgeous detail right here on the edge, guys, with our golden ticket. Um, one of my most favorite products to use from the DIY line. Um, just because it's like a sheer iridescent. It's not like a heavy gold paint. It's really sheer, and so it's almost that effect um, of a patina. So if you if you think about a glaze, or if you think about the way that glue, when you squeeze glue out of the jar, it's really thick and opaque, and then it dries light and clear, that's what the Golden Ticket does. So um, we're going to eventually have this, look like this. Um, this right here is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I think everybody can concur that this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, um, but we're gonna do it anyway. And um, we've got some highlighted colors. Just one thing to keep in mind, if you wanna try a piece like this where it's kind of boho, rustic, lots of colors, lots of layers, just know that there's a process and don't try to get it perfect as you go. It's not gonna work well if you get, every time I get off, like if I were to keep messing with it, there's blue on this yellow. There's blue on this yellow. The yellow's not covered very well down here. That's what, that's what we want to do. All right, that's what we want to do. So I wanted to do a summer series, well, because it's summer here in Oklahoma City. Um, but two, it's just the colors. I'm actually using all of the same colors for these makeovers and showing you different looks and how they can all look just a little bit different. I had someone tell me that all of my work looks the exact same. Um, of course, I don't see that. But it could be lately because I'm using the same color. So I'm trying to show you um, how you can alternate and rotate colors put the yellow here, put this there, but use the same colors um, and kind of get a similar effect, but pieces that actually coordinate together. Um, no camp here, nope, no camp for me either. I probably would have been too scared to leave my mom that long. It's different with grandmas than it is with mom. So um, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up and thank you guys for joining me tonight for part two. I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow for part three. Um, we shall see what we've got going on tomorrow, but I'm just gonna, I need to let this set up and I'm gonna come back in tomorrow with these colors. So Carnival Red, Cowgirl Coral, and Summer Crush. These are all by DIY Paint, uh, but if you're using a different line, this is kind of an orangey red, yellow red. This is a really, really pretty warm coral. And then this is just kind of a dark, I don't know, it's an orange, it's not bright, it's got some brown in it, so it's a little more rustic. Um, so you guys
you guys. Thank you, and I will see you very soon.